What's up guys, Bleeding Planets here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to download, install, and set up a program called iSpy. iSpy is a free open source video surveillance platform. Links will be in the description below and without further ado, let's get going. Uh, to get started, we're going to, we're going to want to go to iSpyConnect.com and it's going to bring up a little download link. Just click download and it's going to give you the option of using a 32-bit or 64 download link and you're going to want to click on 64-bit if you have 64 like I have um, some people will have a 32-bit depends on your Windows operating system version <laughs> you're going to want to press save file click OK and after that downloads open up your downloads folder and if you press <coughs> save file like I did you're going to want to right click on the file that downloaded and extract the files extract all the files you can use a program like WinRAR to do that but you can extract them and I'm going to put them on my desktop OK and they're going to start extracting and after they do a little window will pop up with iSpy64 or 32 depending on what you downloaded a Windows package installer and double click on that Let's put, press run and I'm going to cancel that because I've already downloaded it but you're going to keep pressing next so press next, 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 and follow the prompts. But I've already downloaded it and installed it, so I'm going to back out of that. I'll let you guys do that by yourselves. All right, after the program has installed, you're going to want to plug in the USB camera or cameras that you're going to want to use. Make sure you've installed the device drivers and download the software that came with the webcams or whatever you're using. Um, you're going to want to check to make sure the cameras already work um, on the computer in their standalone uh, software that came with it. So, for example, if I'm using a Logitech camera, just check to make sure it works in the Logitech software. Um, if it works there, it's going to work here. And then we're going to want to go up here to add. And you can use any kind of camera with this. You can use a wireless camera, like an IP camera, and there's that. You can use um, a microphone if you want to just like spy on the audio of the room. Um, it even has the option to use cameras and microphones from other computers. So say you have a computer upstairs that's on your network and it also has cameras or microphones. You can set those up. Um, this software is developed to be pretty limitless as far as the amount of cameras that you can put on this. You can use more than one USB camera as long as you have more than one USB drive. And even so, you could use a multi adapter USB hub if you wanted to plug in like four cameras on one computer. But um, for now, I just have one USB. Uh, Logitech webcam, simple, cheap, the uh, fifteen dollar camera plugged into my laptop right now. So I'm going to go to local camera, and that's where your USB cameras are. Okay, it's brought up the integrated webcam right here. Oops, oh, excuse me, the integrated webcam. Um, but you can that's because I have a laptop and it has a camera in it so I'm gonna click Logitech webcam because like I said that's the one I plugged in so I click on that and click OK and you can see a preview of it over here with my dog sleeping down there <laughs> and um, this is your camera edit um, from here, you can um, check and uh, set your frame rates. Um, you can use picture on picture, which is really cool. Um, but you 
click next down here and it goes up here to motion detection this is where you set how sensitive you want your motion detection to be so you know if uh, a leaf blows by you want it so sensitive that it picks that up you can set it like that or if like a person walks by um, you can change it there um, but I used to use these cameras on my window near my door when I lived in a rough neighborhood and I just set it up so when it was so sensitive that a person walked by it would turn on set an alert and it would start recording um, which we'll get to right now alerts um, are the next tab up here um, say the camera senses movement from the motion detection sensitivity you just set um, you can set it right here with these dots you can click here and um, for how many seconds does the alert go off but you can set it so um, you can add actions right here like to play a sound um, a sound through the camera um, to make a beep whatever you want it to do when it senses action for you to be like oh my camera just picked up something because I just heard the alert but you can set that here um, you can go over to recording and this is where you can set it to um, record when it senses movement that's right here it's automatically set so you know if the camera senses someone walks by it's gonna start recording um, and that's pretty cool um, I really like that that option because even if I'm not at home if something walked by my camera that's you know looking at my trailer outside with my equipment in it then it's gonna pick it up and record it and um, it's pretty cool because with this pro with this software you can go on um, iSpotConnect.com and download plugins for like uh, facial recognition, um, license plate recognition. You can do all sorts of stuff. But um, you can also set it up to, you know, uh, every so while when the intervals like every five minutes take a, a picture. So if Gracie down here is laying down here and I'm watching her, you know, every five minutes I can have a picture taken, and then uh, I can you know go on my computer and go on the software if I'm away from home and check to see those pictures every five minutes um, or I can have it take a picture every time there's motion detected right here um, you know it's just whatever you'd like to do and uh, you'd have them located here in uh, FTP your uh, images that it took so you can check it you know when you're away um, this is where you do your cloud storage. You can have it set as your Google Drive, and it even has YouTube. Um, and you can have this camera scheduled to turn on and off at certain times. So you can click here at Schedule Camera, and I want it to start at let's see, noon, twelve thirty. Let's do twelve thirty on Mondays, Fridays, and Sundays because that's when we're not home because we're at church or something, I don't know. And um, you can have it stop and start there. Um, and then in the storage, this is where your um, videos that record when the motion detection is um, detected if you have it set on record on motion detection right here this is where your files are going to be saved so if I click these dots here it's going to bring up uh -oh, no. it's going to bring up a place where I can click um, you know my desktop that's the folder I want to be in so it's okay and that's pretty much it. You can set, you, you can uh, do the storage management so you can say I don't want to record so much um, max hour 72, max folder size, you know. But then when that camera is set up you just press finish. And so here's this one camera right here. And see how it's turned red that's because it sensed motion because I put my hand in front of it
Um, a really cool, I'm going to add one more camera so I can show you guys one more thing. So I'm going to add local camera and say I plugged in another camera. Um, then I'd pick down from here, Logitech camera 2 or whatever. So I'm going to pick the integrated camera on my laptop. And I'll press OK. And now it's on. And here it is over here. It's kind of a poor quality. But um, it's not the program's fault. It's my laptop's fault. So I get to the same same uh, steps as I did on the first one. You know, all this stuff. And then I press finish. So now I have two cameras set up. I have this one on the right, my webcam. And then this one over here, my dog cam. Okay, after that, we're going to go to grid views. We're going to click manage. We're going to click on new. I'm going to name it dog cam. I'm going to click two on the column since I have two cameras. If I had four cameras, I would set them up as the quadrants and just do the columns and rows accordingly. Um, on display, I'm going to click on display two since I have two monitors going. And I'm going to press OK. Um, where it says add object here, I'm going to click on the word add object on the left and I'm going to select camera zero, that's the dog cam over there, press OK and then I'm going to click add objects on the right and I'm going to click camera one because that's this camera over here and OK and then if I wanted to I can right click and click full screen And that's about it, guys, for iSpy. Um, hopefully this will get you started. And uh, if you would please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day. Be safe and take care.